Hello everyone, it's Cress, aka Taka, and it's time for a Thripfied Rummage Sale Finds video for Saturday the 6th of November. And most of this is from a bag sale today at the Church Bazaar, and then a small bag of jewelry from the Church Bazaar. They were a quarter piece. I to averaged 20 to 21 cents a thing that I threw in my bag. And then I have five ornaments I got at Gwyn's this and that yesterday. And one item I got from the St. Vinny's and Gwyn yesterday. But at least I got pasties out of that trip. So. Best find. For $2.25. Was this cute cookie jar. That says thou shall not steal. And it is. A 1960 Winton made in the USA and he's definitely got crazing under the glaze and it kind of looks like he's got age spots which I'm not sure are part of the crazing process or if someone was that detailed when they were painting him to give him age spots but he is downright adorable for two dollars and twenty five cents uh, excuse my nasaliness. I had my dental fillings done on Wednesday and my throat decided that was an assault on my immune system and decided to do the full tonsillitis effect. Having, but, all right, so these ornaments I got at this and that and um, they were pricier than they normally are there because nothing is actually priced and then you're like randomly grabbing. So she charged me $2 for this in the box Crayola organ bear ornament it is a hallmark keepsake and then this is like the only thing that had a tag a dollar fifty um but i thought it was a very cute porcelain bird ornament try and let him show off his colors and then she charged me a dollar for each ornament. Normally, like last year, I think I paid 20 cents an ornament. It worked out, so I don't know. But this is a House of Lloyd Dinosaur Court Gesture. And I've all my other Dinosaur House of Lloyd ornaments have sold in the past, so I thought I'd get, rescue him. And when I list those, I usually will contact the people who bought similar ones before. And then these two all sell together. So I'll pay $2 total. But they kind of go together because they obviously are the same designer um but it's marked ed seal ironically with a uh, ornaments for hockey for penguins so that was what i found yesterday was five ornaments and a cookie jar then today i guess i'll start with the jewelry first the jewelry was a quarter a piece unless the other was marked, so everything I grabbed was a quarter because it wasn't marked. So I got this cute chicken on eggs that look like they're Easter eggs, giant pin, and I didn't even get it off of here yet. I'm like trying to figure out which way it opens. Ah, there we go. Couldn't tell if there were any markings. Ah, it is by JJ. So it is a marked pin for a quarter, but I thought that was adorable. And this was actually the first thing I spotted, this cool pendant. If you wear it this way, it's kind of a goddess figure. And if you wear it that way, it's gold flowery kind of figure. And I do not know how it's in there. And I don't see any markings, but I thought that was cool for a quarter. And then, I couldn't resist the mustache earrings, even though I don't wear earrings. Someone's going to find those hilarious. And then, I doubt this is real gold or anything, but it was all together on this chain. And it's three pendants dealing with Pisces. So you have this Pisces symbol. Some fish. Hold on. They're not cooperating. Fish and then a little tag that says Pisces 
and it is marked on the back February 19th through March 20th. So I thought that was cute for a quarter. Always grab Zodiac stuff. There were two of these there, so I left one for someone else to find. So cute little poodle pin. And the last of the jewelry I found was these cloisonne earrings and pendant. And they're butterfly cloisonne. So I thought those were cool. Those back in the bag, except for the Zodiac, because that was wrapping around things. And then the rest is a huge pile of miscellaneous that you just got a bag, and as long as it wasn't pre-marked to the price, you could throw it in the bag, and the bag was $5. So, I gently placed this little pink Himalayan salt rock in my bag, thinking that alone has to be $5 worth of salt rock. So... And it's not carved at all. It's just a giant piece. It's got to weigh at least pound to two pounds. It definitely weighs more than a coffee mug. So definitely over a pound. Set that there. Then I got two little Easter Snoopy theme with Woodstock little figurines. Figure I could sell those together is a lot. Apparently someone got rid of all their uh, Taz stuff because first I found this ornament, then I found Taz eating cookies, and then I found Tornado Taz. And then in the toy section, a sealed Space Jam Tasmanian Devil. And I know I, I got one of these free out of the bag along with one of the aliens and they sold in a lot easily so I'm sure a sealed one is probably worth more it's from 1996 McDonald's so I think that's awesome I also grabbed a uh, Ziggy ornament uh, it's a little peeled off around the year but for 20 cents <laughs> I grabbed this lone little tiny, tiny angel. She was all by herself, so I decided to grab her. She looks sad. And I got a couple Halloween-themed buttons. So we got a werewolf and possessed by demons. And I guess this is a Eleven Pipers piping ornament. And Torino, I think it's marked Torino. Didn't see any others. I got a Magic Chef bank for my advertising collection. So this alone was worth a five for me because just trying to get them shipped to me would be $5. So yay. I know he's probably missing his hat, but for 20 cents, I picked up Fozzie. I do have a Miss Piggy, and if I find Kermit, that's a group of three from these. So, um, I also got sealed in bag, uh, two Wild Wild West different ones, a stagecoach, and some, some sort of gun thingy from it. And then I grabbed a Land Before Time. And uh, a monster one, and I wasn't even sure which monster I got, but I think it is Frankenstein's monster. And before I open them, I will check to see if they're valuable. But I figured a monster one couldn't go wrong. I guess it's got part of the lab set in there. I also just threw in this bag of what was supposed to be like, it was marked cross in my pocket, but there's no crosses in the pocket. There's, there's just a needle with some yarn. But... It, these little baggies come in useful for 20 cents, a whole bunch of baggies. Yay. And nothing else helps keep jewelry organized when you're selling it. And I got, well, what's obviously a repro book version. Uh, otherwise this would be huge. Uh, a Sears robot company. I thought that would be hilarious to look through. 
but you can tell, look how small that writing is. That's not how it originally came. It would have been much bigger, but thought it would be a cool reference. And then I got what, if the box is correct, a, a Eiffel Tower pencil sharpener. I didn't even check. I just threw it in. And it is indeed in there. Antique finish, made in China. Original box. So, not the best versions. Like, Spain and France made some really good pencil sharpeners. And then for the few breakables I threw in the bag. I know, it's technically a cigarette ashtray thing because of the line. But you could easily use it for paintbrushes and that. It's just... Beautiful green glass, cut at an angle, kind of got really good mid-century vibes. Uh, the bottom is very smooth. Actually, all the surfaces are pretty smooth. Then I got this cute little bird picture. Someone has marked it sold for 4,200 pesos or $1.90 US when someone picked it up on their trip. And the weird pottery find I found today, so it is signed, but I believe that's supposed to be for displaying flowers, and that's a little floral frog inside that they designed into it. So I thought that was extremely different. So, yeah, I didn't get out too much thrifting. Monday I was too exhausted from my work weekend. I just slept, and then by the time I went out for Wednesday, all I did was go to the post office and go to the dentist, and then my... My throat did not like getting fillings, so I, I've just basically talked to a minimum number of clients I had scheduled and just continue. I even talked to a couple last night when I don't normally work Friday, and I'll probably try a few tonight just to spread them out more than I usually do because my throat hates me right now. So I did miss the, the grand opening of the Christmas section at St. Vinny's Marquette. So I'm really hoping they have those bags of ornaments, whether if if they sold out those, if they put more out. Because they did have a few out, you know, a few weeks ago I bought one and for $5, but they were having like a $4 sale. But it looks like all their Christmas stuff is out. So I'm hoping to go there Monday. And then we'll see how I feel after that. I have to go, probably we'll have to go to the post office. I'm hoping to sell some things over the weekend and then go there. And then hopefully if I have enough energy, uh, go up to Target and see if the uh their brand of Clarity D's back in stock yet because it was totally out the last two weeks so um i will put my etsy and ebay links down below i do not know when all this will get listed i'm gonna go take a nap after this and we will see after that 